YouTube family. Hey, uno, dos, tertiary. Three days ain't got nothing on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Three days ain't got nothing on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, don't tell me what my God can't do. He'll pull you through, cause he's alive. Don't tell me what my God can't do. He pull you through, cause he's alive. Don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me what my God can't do. He pull you through, cause he's alive. Mm. Don't tell me what my God can't do. Okay, okay. You see... I never was too fond of public pools and my daughter loved to go swimming. I'd be sitting back thinking like, man, all those kids in there, all the time they've been in there, I'm sure they didn't add it, some preservatives. And all the adults are thinking, I'm just trying to keep my head above water. I bet Michael Phelps never thought that. Nah, he never thought that. But there's nothing wrong with winning a bronze medal. At least I'm not the first one to lose. <laughs> okay. You get the hint. Today's video is about overcoming muddy waters. How do we overcome muddy waters? Well, what is it? What is muddy waters? And how do we overcome this? But what is it though? It's bewildered. It's turbid. It's less easy to understand. It's a uh, flow mix. It's dull, not light or bright causing it or your situation less clear to see out of muddy waters how do we overcome muddy waters first i have a question what does mckinley morgan field and reggie noble have in common i'll wait oh ask again what does McKinley Morgan Field and Reggie Noble have in common. Still don't know? Okay. Muddy Waters. <laughs> yeah. One nickname is Muddy Waters and the other have a classic album called Muddy Waters. Both of them are heavy influencers and took part in developing their respective genres. One is the funk doctor and the other is the godfather of blues. And they had to trail, they had to tread or go through muddy waters to reach their destiny. Now, how do we overcome muddy waters? By embracing the mud. Yeah. Embrace your situation. Embracing the mud is how you overcome muddy waters. You want to embrace it rather than moan and groan and be fearful of the thought like, oh, man, I'm going to get dirty. Oh, this is hard. I, why it can't be so easy? No. Embracing the mud is, is you can see it as an opportunity to build mental strength. Yeah. Build mental strength. It's how you overcome muddy waters. You know, you want to rediscover your inner child. Yeah. Rediscover your inner child because who cares if you get dirty? Like, really? Who cares? It was a time where getting muddy was fun to you. So, like, for instance, after it rains, sometimes me and my daughter go for walks. And as the adult I am. I have the tendency to walk around the puddles and she just runs and splashes, jumps in them sometimes. I'll be like, hey, but then the, the smile on her face had me thinking like, 
well, maybe if I embrace this situation, I have a smile like her too. This is how you overcome muddy waters. Because no one will live a life without a stain on their shirt or dirling under their nails. This is how you overcome muddy waters. And another way is filters. Yeah. Filters turn complexity to simplicity. Yeah. Simplify things. This is how you overcome muddy waters is to simplify things. Filters. So you want to focus on some routines. So like, let's let, in, for example, if you a parent and it's hard to juggle everything, you got to go to work. You have to you you working on a project. You got to cook. You got a relationship you're trying to maintain. So you want to simplify things. Use your filters, changing complexity to simplicity. This is how you overcome muddy waters. So let's take meal prepping. This will cut out time. This will give you more time and save you money. This is how you overcome muddy waters It's filters and perspective filters. Yeah. Get rid of the toxics. Get rid of the toxic people. Get rid of the toxic behaviors and habits. See, this is big for me. Because one of my toxic behaviors was corn. I used to be addicted to corn. And it used to make me feel dull. I never was fully ever satisfied. I never got finished watching corn and thought, you know, let's go tackle the day. I'm, I'm ready. I'm amped. No. And it took the brightness out of some of my relationship. This is how you overcome muddy waters. I say this all the time. I no longer indulge in those type of hobbies, habits. You are looking at an overcomer. This is what overcoming looks like. It looks like him. It looks like them. It looks like her. Yeah, you overcoming looks like you. So, yeah, use filters. It's how you overcome your muddy waters. And one of my favorites is. Don't wear white socks. No. Don't wear white socks. They'll never be white again. Now, keep a mental photo of that. Because it'll remind you on how that's how I used to look. Or oh, that's how I used to be. Now look at you. Living on the bright side. This is how you overcome muddy waters. You see, in the book of Psalms, it says, he lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on a rock. He gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn, for now I praise the Lord. Overcomers, many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. You put your trust in the Lord and he'll pull you out of anything. Don't tell me what my God can't do. He'll pull you through. <laughs> High five. Like, subscribe, and share this video. Peace.